Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's that time of year again when the moose are starting to shed all their velvet off their antlers and fixing to go into the rut. And for the last several years, I've been after a shot and I have tried to get it. And I just keep missing the timing because when these moose go and they start raking these trees and getting all that velvet off, it just takes them part of a day to get that velvet off. And then a couple days for it, oh, that blood to dry off and their antlers kind of tan or brighten up. They get real bright and then they get started getting golden dark. But when they first knock it off, it's real bloody and the stuff's hanging off. And that's the image I'm after today. And I know, I think I've got the timing down because I saw a couple little guys that had a little bit of felt coming off. Another one that had just knocked his felt off and had been a couple days. But I know some of these bigger bulls I've seen still had felt. So I'm just going to run around and look for them, try to check them, see if I can find one that's just in that right state. So that's what we're after today. Hey guys, before we get started, make sure you go like, share, and comment, and all those good things. I love seeing all the comments that you guys leave on the channel. Uh, we're going to have a few more uh, reviews on some of these products we have, but we're going to have a lot more of these wildlife photography adventures like we're going to go do today, see what we can find. Um, expect Because the winter and the falls, when I get the moose in the rut, I got doll sheep that pop out. We'll find fox and coyotes and raptors, eagles, and things like that that are in the fall and into the winter, which is really cool, and owls. Uh, so, you know, go back and also look at some of the older content that I have. I, uh, one of my favorites is the shorebirds video I did and some of the fox and stuff like that. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see, if there's any products you want me to look at. I, I can't review everything, but there's some things. If I find it useful for wildlife photography, yeah, you know, I'll go review it for you guys. But and if there's an animal you'd like for me to go look for, uh, don't say musk ox, don't say snow owl, and don't say uh, arctic fox because I can't get to those. <laughs> They're too far north for me. But everything else here in Alaska I can probably find. And uh, but anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna go get after this and go see what we can find. And I've just now found a cow and a couple calves down here drinking. So I'll go get a few pictures of those, and I'll talk about it in a minute. Oh guys, that was pretty cool. Uh, I've had that cow, that two calves. She was down there, uh, drank a little bit of water, so I got a few pictures of the water dripping from her mouth. I mean, it's nothing great. Uh, be nice to just sit there and try to follow them around and uh, follow them, but that's not what we're after. We're after some bulls with some uh, good velvet hanging off, and not for cow and calves. So let's move on, see what else we can find. Guys, it was a fun little encounter. I went and talking to a friend of mine, parked a bit behind me and got talking. We looked down and a cow came down the hill and got next to the truck and was standing behind my truck. So I got some video to put it to her. It's it pretty fun. Uh, so now I'm gonna move back here to some little more tighter areas and see if I can find some bulls. Uh, none seem to be out here where I'm looking. So we're gonna go somewhere else. Guys, that was pretty quick. I just went down the road about a mile and I ended up finding a little bull. He's not really what I'm after, but he was a good looking little bull. He still had all his velvet on his small and he was kind of in a nice spot along the side of a hill and some trees. So I thought, let me run out here real quick and take some pictures of him. And uh, he went ahead and moved back into the thicker trees. And normally I'd probably go follow him and parallel him and see what other shots I could get back in there. But I'm on a mission today and I'm looking for a big bull and I'm looking for a big bull that's, you know, shedding off that velvet. So let's keep moving on and I've got a spot I'm probably going to have to hike in and make a big circle and see if I can see some, some cows or bulls out that way and I'll let you know what we find here in a minute.
check this guy out. He is perfect. He's exactly what I've been looking for. He's got, he looks like last night of this morning, he was out there just rubbing that velvet and rubbing it off. Got a little bit of velvet hanging from the back paddle. The antlers are still just red from the blood that popped out of those vessels when he was rubbing that off. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I, I'm just ex so excited about seeing that. Just gorgeous, gorgeous pool. He, he was nice, healthy, nice, good rack. Everything I could, could want and more. And that, that's cool. Didn't have to work too hard getting shots of him because he was perfectly on the side of this hill. Nice tall grass. The light was pretty good out here for you know being cloudy and trying to rain on me too. So I'm trying to protect this R10. The R10 held it well. Uh, John, uh, you know, running everything just about like running the R5 as far as the shutter and the ISO and everything. Uh, but again, I was shooting wide open at 2.8 with that lens, that 70 to 200 lens. And I'm shooting about 500 on the shutter speed, so that means I could keep the ISO around 1 to 400, which is perfect. That's a lot of dynamic range to work with. So I should be able to work with those shots really well. But guys, I am super excited. That, that was just beyond belief. But again, guys, uh, like, subscribe, share, and then over here, should be a link to the shorebird video. Go watch that one next, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.